What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and it's time for another Q&A. Before I begin, I want to say I'm sorry for being slow on videos lately. I will work on that verse analysis stuff that you like so much, and I'll keep working on more OC fights. I've just been feeling super under the weather this week, like my stomach has been trying to murder me. So yeah, that's a thing, but I'm feeling a bit better now. And um, also, I want to apologize to a fan who was messaging me like crazy on Discord, just trying to say hi, and I didn't say hi back. Even though he was spamming me and saying hi, hi, hello, 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 hi, hi. Uh, because I have anxiety and I have a very hard time talking to new people. I'm super sorry. I'm sorry. And... Uh, question time. <laughs> Undecadillon395 asks, Which fan base is worse from my own experience? Naruto fan base or Sonic fan base? And then he says he thinks the Naruto fan base is worse. Well, they're both pretty bad, but I'm going to have to say the Sonic fan base. I mean, even look at your comments right here. You're trying to redirect hate towards the Naruto fanbase to lessen the hate on the Sonic fanbase. That's something only a bad fanbase person would do. So yeah, definitely Sonic. Worst. Question 2. Weakest character that can solo the Attack on Titanverse? The only one I can think of at the moment is Crash Bandicoot. I'm sure there's weaker ones, though. Question number 3. Angry Azura versus the Tekkenverse. Who would win? Oh, gee whiz. Azura, duh. Who, who came up with this stomp? <laughs> the screw attack? <laughs> but then again, I did do Scout versus Tracer, which is a huge stomp in Scout's favor, so who am I to talk? Roy Master X 12 asks, what do I think of Fire Emblem and L Sword? Um, I played Awakening, but I'm scared of the rest of Fire Emblem because of the fan base. I like Tharja though, and I've never played L Sword. Sorry. Question number two, Kyo Kusanagi versus Jin Kazama, who wins? Um, I don't know who Kiyo Kusanagi is, but I looked up his stats real quick, and yeah, Jin kind of stomps, but oh well. Next question. Ryan Caton asks, Destiny or Call of Duty? Um, I've never played Destiny, but I've heard very mixed things about it, so I'm not sure. Um, but I have played a couple of the Call of Duty games, and I actually really do enjoy them, because despite what people say, they're very fantastic and well-made games. People just hate on them because of all the 12-year-olds and squeakers that play them, but if you play it yourself, you'll see it's actually pretty fun. Like, all the sounds, the way it hits, the way it moves, the way it controls. It's very addicting and alluring, and it's, it's fun. It's fun. Just trust me on this. I know Call of Duty, haha, it's an MLG meme, but it's actually fun. Uh, I don't know what to say about Destiny, though, because, again, never played it. Ziggy asks, what's it like to have white hair? It sucks, because people think you're 50 when they first see you, Ziggy! <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> it's the only part of albinism that's kind of cool, because you look like an anime character, and you don't even have to bleach your hair when you cosplay as Kakashi. Question number two, what's the best game I've played with an actual storyline, good or bad? Oh, oh, are you firing shots at Tekken saying it doesn't have a storyline? <laughs> yeah, you're right, it doesn't. I like Ape Escape a lot because the story is just ridiculous. It's monkey making evil monkeys control the world, and I love it. It's so dumb, but I love it. Question number three, yes or no? Um, um, uh, 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 yes, I don't know, yes. Kahe Wong asks, which reality show from Nickelodeon do I like the most? Um, do you mean, like, sitcoms reality, because they're real people, or, like, game show reality? Because if it's game show reality, there was this one show they had called, like, Brain Surge, I think it was, or Brain Drain, Brain Dump something. But they had all these trivia questions, they had this cool setup for the stage, I really liked the way the stage looked, all these puzzles and stuff. It was interesting, but I don't think it lasted for very long. But yeah, that one. Question number two, when will I start back universes? I will say in a later video, be patient. Question number three, do I like any girls? Like real girls, not video game characters or anime characters. <laughs> um, well, there's no one in person that I have my eye on at the moment. Um, but yes, I do like girls in general. Thank you for asking. Next question. Chayton Nelson asks, Rowlet, Litten, or Papolo? Pipolo. However you pronounce the Pokemon. Rowlet, because I like verbs. They fly around and they go tweet 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 hoot hoot hoot. I like birds. Question number two. Will characters like Annoying Orange or the Homestar Runner ever be on universes? No! Question number three. Do I have a, fin a fidget spinner? No! Jaden the Trainer asks, will I ever play Skullgirls? 
Maybe someday, because all the girlies in it are very cute. Question number two. Who would win, Silver the Hedgehog or Tatsumaki? Well, I'd have to research that, but right now I'd say Tatsumaki because Silver can't go super on his own. He needs shared chaos energy from Sanic. And Tatsumaki's uh, telekinesis is way superior, and so are her base stats. I mean, with her telekinesis, she can shrink things out of existence, like she did in one of the OVAs with the train. So yeah, Tatsumaki definitely curb stomps Silver. And question number three, what is my favorite Tekken OST, or Tekken 7 OST to be specific? Um, I really like Akuma's theme. <laughs> out of all the themes of Tekken 7, my favorite is Akuma's theme, which is the, um, Abandoned Temple final version, second round. Not the one you hear regularly on the stage, like the boss battle final round when you fight him in arcade mode. That's my favorite track, the final round of the boss battle Akuma in arcade mode. The one that's like, it starts off sounding like a piano music, and then it gets all like with like the guitar and stuff. It fits Akuma way better than Street Fighter V's dubstep nonsense for his theme. Tekken does Akuma better than Street Fighter. <laughs> That's not surprising one bit. Zapsaz7 asks, have I ever heard of Mugen and what's my favorite build? Yes, I have heard of Mugen, but I don't know what my favorite build would be because I'm not like super into it. I don't keep up with all the stuff or know all the builds. I've never played it. I've only heard of it and seen videos and all that. Question number two, what's the most fanboyish thing I've ever seen in versus debates? Set the programmer's YouTube channel. All of it, says the Leopold who claims Tekken is planet level. Question number three, how do I come across videos that debunk my fights and how do I approach them? Um, I find them when I'm looking for predictions for the next universes, like to put in the next episode. I usually find sometimes ones that try and debunk old episodes like Ryu vs. Knuckles had one and how I handled it, you can go there and see in the comments I had a polite debate. It wasn't anything harsh or mean, just a normal debate. We both had our own sides and it was an interesting conversation. Nothing harsh from either side, and it was cool. I like debating. Question number four, what's my setup like when making universes? As basic as you can get. I make the scripts in notepad, I put all the footage together in Movie Maker, I record audio with audacity. The only time I used an advanced program is with Sony Vegas so I can put everything all over the little templates, that's all. So yeah, super duper basic process for universes, anyone could make it. <laughs> Well, anyone can make the editing part. You actually have to do the research, and I don't know how many people could actually do that with all the annoying math. I certainly struggle sometimes. Bro234 asks, Who is my favorite character in fiction that is a woman? Or favorite female character in fiction? I really like Coco Bandicoot as a character because she reminds me of my big sister. You know, bossy, always asking me to risk my life to get computer batteries for her. Ugh. You know what I mean, right? You know, squashing turtles, spinning boxes, eating, eating countless amounts of fruit until you throw up in the bathroom later. Everyone's gone through it, right? Question number two, what is the stupidest question I've ever been asked? This one! Question number three, why do I like Tekken? Because Namco never lets us down like Capcom. <laughs> if you want to read the actual, or hear the actual story, I have a retrospective video on my channel that you can go check out. It explains my entire history with Tekken and why I like the franchise so much and why it's my favorite. So, go check that out. I, I hope it's interesting. I mean, it seems pretty interesting. People liked it. DMUA asks, who is the coolest OC I've seen on the wiki so far? You know, I really like those Hira and Vic guys. Whoever created them must be like the most interesting and creative person on the entire planet who totally isn't, um, um, self-absorbed and complimenting himself at this very moment, <laughs> right? Question number two, would I recommend Hajime no Ippo to someone like you? I don't know, I don't know you. Uh, yeah? No? Uh, watch it and find out for yourself. Question number three, why do I keep ignoring you and answering questions from someone who asks about my favorite emoji? Hmm, now that you mention him, where is emoji guy? He hasn't even shown up. He's been in every- Don't! Oh! There he is. Hey, K-Man Carberry, what are your questions? Question number one, how do I feel about Animation Rewind using memes and sins? Too much. It needs to end. Question number two, thoughts on cartoon reviewers like Phantom Strider, um, Mr. Enter, and Pan Pizza. <laughs> you know, this is actually very interesting. I had this whole Twitter rant on it just last night before editing and making this video. So you can go to my Twitter and probably still see it, but... I am not a huge fan of Mr. Enter or Phantom Strider. 
I'm a huge fan of pan pizza, but as for Mr. Enter and Phantom Strider, I cannot stand their content. It's so unoriginal and bland because they always do like top 10 worst cartoons, top 10 worst modern cartoons, top 10 good cartoons that have gone bad. And they all end up having the same thing. Modern SpongeBob, modern Family Guy, modern Simpsons, modern Fairly Odd Parents. It's, there's no originality between them. Meanwhile, if you go to the same thing like Pan Pizza, like top 10 worst cartoons, he'll pull up some obscure thing that you haven't even heard of in years, like Mr. Meaty from Nickelodeon. So yeah, I like Pan Pizza a lot more. Not a fan of Mr. Enter and Phantom Strider. Question number three, least favorite type of YouTube channel. Prank channels, definitely. Not only because most of them are fake, but some of them are also vile, offensive, and disgusting, like harassment. That's not even cool. Why is that stuff allowed on YouTube? Meanwhile, there are other hardworking content creators like IHE or the abridging guys that get their content removed because copyright guidelines or whatever in that. But somehow these vile people harassing and breaking other guidelines get to stay because they make YouTube more money. And it's super dumb. And I hate it. And no, oh, I'm all mad now. End of Q&A. Prank channels. Ugh.